What's up guys, this is Dark Alpha, and I'm so excited bringing you guys the spotlight videos again. I was, I was having to toss the to at first, but I you know I could not not do Ted Ginn. This guy is just absolutely crazy. And all the balance cards, it's so great about NCAA Ultimate Team. But what makes Ted Ginn so special is his speed. Red two. Now he's scrambling. Slings it down the sideline. For the 20, the 10, touchdown! Give Ted Ginn half an inch, and it'll take half a mile. This guy is just so fast, he creates just game-blowing plays. He'll completely change the game around when he's on the field. The opponent always has to account for him. It opens up everything underneath, because they always have to be you know, aware of Ted Ginn. And if you look, take a look at the stats, sure, he's not as strong as Fitz or, or D-Jax, but he doesn't need to be. This guy has, like, very few uses. Go straight and go very, very fast. But the thing is, he doesn't even need to do that because he also has the route running. So you don't have to be afraid to like put him on posts or put him on you know, flags or put him on out routes. And he's got the spectacular catch to make those great sideline catches as well. The only problem is when you send him on like an in route over the middle and he's going into a, you know, a linebacker. But really, that shouldn't be his job. That's why I got Larry Fitzgerald there to do those routes. But Ted Ginn, you know, he can do it all. And he's so fast that even when you throw it into like traffic, you know, he's going to He's going to make the catches because he's just going to outrun it here. And, man, his speed makes him just so great to use in the return game. Like, right here, you know, I get the ball, kicks it off to Ted Ginn, and he brings it back. He goes through those narrow windows, and then he still makes a mistake. Same guy, kicks it off to Ted Ginn again. 11 seconds left in the half, and look at that. Runs through the windows, has the speed to, you know, take those tiny little spaces and just explode through them to make game-changing. Now I'm up by four instead of being down by three right before half. And he just keeps kicking to Ted Ginn. He keeps giving him the ball and the ability to make, you know, game-changing plays like this. I don't quite get the third touchdown because, you know, he learned his lesson. But he can still do that. And then here, look at this. I just wait till Tanga goes deep. And look at that throw by Plunkett. Highlight video for Plunkett coming up next. But Ted Ginn's able to just go deep and just make crazy plays. He's also got great release. Watch the left side. He's going to try to press him. And he's just going to instantly shed it. And I have to release it a little or too early. I don't let him get loose because of the, the blitz, but here, watching the slot, I'm down by 14, and he's going to try to defend the slant pass, which means I just wait to Ted Ginn to get a step on the safety, and then look at that bomb by Plunkett, but Ted Ginn's able to go deep, outrun anybody that's, you know, even close to him, and his speed means he can break open on these post routes really great, he, you know, he's so fast, here he's going to run commit, and when you run commit on Ted Ginn, he's just going to blow by you, absolutely no catching him, just completely dominating and outrunning everybody. Speaking of run committing, watch the left side. He's going to run commit, and once he run commits, I instantly break it. And then just loft it to Ted Ginn, because if you give Ted Ginn that first step, you're never going to get back. He's just so fast, and there's no defensive back in the game that's anywhere close to keeping up with Ted Ginn, especially if you give him the run commit. Here, I'm going to roll out and watch Plunkett do an instant throw, like right there. He just, like, get rid of it instantly, and then once he does, Ted Ginn uses his speed, maneuver around three guys, outrun, you know, a couple more, just between... Great jobs between Plunkett, coming up next, I think, and Ted Ginn, able to just make crazy plays. And then here, look at the press on the left side. He has some trouble breaking it at first, but once he does, no catching him. I think he actually does at the one with, like, some sort of fluke, but, oh, man, just so great to use Ted Ginn. And he can run routes as well because he's just so fast. The left side, the comeback route, it's going to look like it's going to get jumped, but Ted Ginn's too fast. He's going to come back to the ball too quickly right there. He beats the guy back to the ball and then runs around for an easy touchdown. And then if you're throwing into traffic, it's actually very easy because he's so fast, he's going to gain separation very quickly. Like now, if I throw it, he gets to secure the ball and this catch traffic isn't put into play. It doesn't have to lose balls like this. And he also creates just huge game plays like this. Like look at this. Look at Ted Ginn. Burn everybody. Even the diving tackles to create another touchdown. And once he does, Ted Ginn makes the opponent, you know, he's like, ah, it's so frustrating to have Ted Ginn do that. And he goes off sides. He goes off sides. So now I get to go for two, which means it's an easy run by Adrian Peterson. So now I'm up by eight points. And then the next time he scores, well, Ted Ginn makes an interception. And once he gets the ball on the interception and the two point conversion, he's going to go all the way so his two points go directly to ted ginn's pocket and gets me an even bigger lead here on the post route ted ginn's going to make it and he's going to hold on to it in traffic it's not like he's incapable of it he can do it not 
you know, as consistently as Fitzgerald, but he can still do it. And once he realizes he's going to be against Ted Ginn, who can also catch balls in traffic, this guy's going to quit out. All right, guys, I think that's it for Teddy again. I could show, you know, more streaks and more kickoff returns, but I think you've gotten the point. This guy is a speed demon, completely changes the game when he's on the field. The defense cannot encroach. They have to respect him. It opens up your team underneath, and when they try to, you know, come underneath, Ted, Ted Ginn just blows by them. His catch of traffic can be worked around. Just make sure you lead him and let him bring himself open. You know, don't go over the middle with him. That's about it. But if you're doing slants, if you're doing outs, if you're doing, you know, streaks, Ted Ginn's your man. He can't run block as well, so that's why I always run to Larry Fitzgerald's side. But this guy completely dominates the game when he's on the field at his position. No cornerback can really catch him at the time. It's just absolutely so much fun to use this guy. And he's just he's just really what it should be. You know, one of the, the fastest guy in the game that has limitations, can be worked around, and it's just a ton of fun to use. If you're looking for somebody to add a spark to your offense, Ted Ginn's your guy. Go out there, try him out there, report back about how fantastic and how you know just amazing he is. Let us know how you guys liked him. Again, this is Eric Alpha, and if you guys haven't joined us yet on Evo, come check us out, mutevolution.com. We're here for you guys. You know, we're we're here for Enfut, we're here for Madden Ultimate Team, and the other Ultimate Teams as well. And we're you know we're growing, we're doing everything we can to bring the best possible experience for you guys. Come check us out. We're glad to see you there. You know, it's, it's always free and it always will be. Again, Dark Alpha, MUTEvolution.com. Hope you guys enjoy this video. See you next time.